Here we go, bears. Oh. Wow. Okay, I'm back. I told you I'd be back with a math lesson. Hey, on our lesson plans today for math, we are going to do a connect the dot activity. You will get to do this at home also. All you need is something to write with. I have a marker and something to write on. A it can either board. be a piece of paper or a marker board or a chalkboard or even if you want to go outside on your driveway, That's if what you I can. To say. All right, and do it on the driveway. Okay, so we are going to start really, really simple. All right, on a piece of paper or your marker I'm board, I'm, I'm going to model first and then you guys can do it. You are going to write the numbers one through 10. All right, now, First, we're going to do them randomly. That means wherever I want to on the piece of paper. Or even you can make or a marker drawing. Board. Okay, you need to not do that, okay? Wherever on the marker board. And then we'll get a little tricky and even map out like a shape. Okay, so here we go. So one through 10. You know what? Zero is a number. Remember, zero is a number. So we're going to go zero through 10. Ooh. Watch this. What number is that? Zero. That looks like one. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, That's good. ten. Now, we're going to start in order. What number out of all of these is the littlest, <laughs> lowest, smallest number? Zero, Zero, of course. So we're gonna put our writing utensil on the smallest number and draw a line from number to number. All right, from smallest to biggest. So watch this. I hope I can stay in the screen here. Zero, what's next? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we kind of made a zigzag little creation here. All right, if you want to pause the video and do your own, you can, or you can just follow along with me right now. All right, and then do the activity later. So I get to erase this. All right, the main point right now is to be able to identify numbers and write them. It's okay if you need help. Maybe, maybe mommy or daddy can write a number line for you or write all the numbers across the top of your paper. Okay, the big point is to be able to order, order our numbers. All right, so now what shape, hmm, what shape should we make? A heart. A heart, okay, I, I'm hearing a heart in the background. All right, so, you know, bears, some of you are much better artists than I am, but we are going to do the best we can and take pride in our work, so. I'm going to write zero through 10 in such a way, map it out in the shape of a heart, okay? Go along, try it with me as we're, as we're talking here, okay? Trust me, I bet, I really bet you can do it. So if I start here, zero, one, two, three, four, Five. Is it looking kind of like the side of a heart right now? Yeah. Six. Seven. My lid's falling off. Eight. Nine. And then we'll kind of put it right there next to the zero. Zero. All right. So we're going to start at the zero. Ready? We have to go in order, starting with zero and going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, looky there, we did a heart. How cool is that, bears? Very well done, very well done. All right, can you think of any other shapes we could make? I'm thinking. Thinking, you know, let's do this. Let's do a square and this time go up to 15. You think we can do that? 
Can we go up to 15? All right, zero to 15. All right, I'm gonna start over here. This takes a lot of brain power because we have to plan ahead. We can't just put these numbers down randomly unless we want a random connect the dot. All right, let's see here. So I'm gonna make a square, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sorry, I'm gonna have to write smaller. Fourteen, fifteen. All right, so do I go from zero to one or zero to 15? What number comes after zero? One, of course, you knew that. Careful. All right, here we go. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What shape did we make? A square. Let's talk about a square for a moment. How many sides does a square have? This is a side. One, two, three, four. A square has four sides. How many points does a square have? Point. The points are where the two lines meet. There's one, two, three, four. All right, so a square has four sides and four points. And what's special about a square is that all the sides are the same length. Now, is this perfectly the same length? No, but we're, pr we're pretty close, okay? They're all the same length, all right? It's not this is shorter, that's longer. They're all the same length. All right, so Bears, when this video is over, I challenge you to make your own connect the dots creations, all right? Do you have to make a shape? No. You could randomly put all your numbers all over the paper, but the main point is starting with zero and going from zero all the way up to whatever number you choose. Could be 15, could be 20. Well, if you want to be an overachiever, you could do 30, 40, 50. Okay. Up to 100. Would be up like to 100. Prize winning. 100, she said, would be like prize winning. But give it a try. Let's see what creations you can make, right? I'm excited. And when we get back to school together someday, we can. Um, do this as well because I love to see what your art is. So, all right. Well, there's math for today. Enjoy making those connect the dot shapes, and we will see you guys later. I'm going to come back with a video in just a moment about underwater animals. Woo! Let's see if I can give you a clue what today's animal is going to be. Can I say underwater? Can I say the clue? No. Well, okay, okay. You can give a clue. What's the animal? Sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. Any other clues? Yeah. It has fins and eats seals. Sorry fins. if that gives you nightmares. Okay. You won't have nightmares. All right, bears. Just a moment. <laughs>